Just finished installing the bumper impact strips, the front and back. Now I'm about to put a pinstripe on it along the side. Then I'm gonna put the side molding as well. Here's the front impact uh, strip. Let me show you the pinstripes. If y'all want to check that video out, it'll be down in the description in the playlist. But this the these are the pinstripes. That's the side molding. Guess we'll probably do the pinstripes first. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Let me get these open up, then we'll get started. First you want to make sure your surface clean. Wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. Get your razor blade. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk the pinstripe off the length of the car and cut off just what I'm going to need. I'm going to have a little bit extra just to be on the safe side. Now you got your pinstripe. You could either put the smaller one at the top or the big one. I'm gonna put the smaller one. Let me see. Now nah, I'm gonna put the big one on. The big at the top. The big one. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just going. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna put the small one at the top. All right, what we're gonna do, we got three different pieces. We got the backing paper, we got the pinstripe, then we got the transfer tape that's on the top. What we need to take off is the backing. If I can get it started, we'll get started. Y'all bear with me now. Can't get it separated like I want it. All right, there we go. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start it back here. Let me get you set up here. All right. I'm gonna start it. Grab it right there. I'm gonna leave some hanging over because I trimmed that. Lay on down the line. You see how I'm pulling the backing paper away from it as I go down. And you want to go along that body line. I'm not sure if you're seeing it down this way. Let me turn the camera so you're there to see it. 
Then I get right here. I look down the side, make sure it's somewhat lined up with the bottom line. Well, not somewhat lined up, but lined up. I'm gonna hit it right that way. I'd make that turn. Come back this way. You gonna have to play with it. Make sure you get it right. You probably won't get it the first time. Sometimes you might. Then I see this back here, it's not even, even. So what I'm gonna do, where I pressed it down that, I'm gonna come back here and do this the same way. See, so make that turn, that where they come to her. You just gotta play with it cuz like I said you might not get it the first time I got a little it's not actually lined up right there so I'm gonna have to bring that down let me bring that down then we'll go from there okay once you get down here to this mirror you're gonna have to cut it with the razor blade Make sure it's lined up. Let's see if I can do it right quick. I think that's gonna do it though. Find my razor blade. Once you cut it, you got to go to the other side. Make sure it's lined up with the other side. Just carry it on down. Now just make sure everything lined up. Once you know it's lined up, you can press press it down from the transfer tape. I might put a little design up here or put a point on it. Now, take your razor blade, you can either cut it out on the ends right before it meet the end, or cut it down the middle and make it overlap on the inside. And we're gonna cut it down the middle. Then we'll open the doors, press it down, 
inside, both sides. Once you get everything pressed down, I gotta cut this out back here. Let me cut this out back here. I can't do it with one hand. I don't wanna cut the paint. But on this here, I can cut it right in the middle. On this end here, we're gonna put a point so I'm removing the transfer tape. Look, like I done tried to stick already over here. Now you just remove the transfer tape. I done peeled it up on all the cuts. Also finished up with my hand now. Now you gotta do the other side the same exact way. That's pretty much it. Let me finish the other side, then we'll do the molding. This side pinch start complete. Now we'll work on the molding. We're gonna use some masking tape for our guide to put down, make sure we got a straight line. Instead of using the molding first, we're gonna put the guide, not the guide coat, I have to say guide coat, but we're gonna put the pin, I have to say pinch stripe. We're gonna put the masking tape. Y'all gotta bear with me, spray with and got over. But we're gonna put the masking tape down because if you make a mistake, we can always pull this mask and tape up. It ain't going to be that easy to pull that molding up. Plus, we got a tape measure. And we're going to mark it off around about, uh, I think, seven and a half inches from this body line here up. That's going to be the bottom of the molding. So let me get all this marked off. And then we'll get ready to lay this molding down. Molding go here, the point gonna be facing the front. It goes here, it goes here. Nothing goes here. Then it start back right here, and the point gonna be facing the back right here. What I did, I ran it over all the way to the end, the bottom of the side marker there. Then we'll cut out molding the size. Let me show you what I'd be cutting it with. If I could find it. I think I got it outside here. It's just some tree shears. Works good. I got all my pieces on this side. Cut the sides. Let me show you something on the ends. You don't want to take it too close to the end because your door might not open. It'll hit up against this panel here. So be on the safe side, just bring it back a little bit and open your door and make sure it's not going to hit up against here. Okay, this molding, it always want to tend to fall back in place from when it was rolled up. So you don't have to play with it. And once it heat up a little bit, It'll be alright. Trying to test fitting it, make sure I'm putting it where I want it. 
like that'll be alright right there. Then you want to peel your uh, backing paper off. I'm going to start on this end here. And it's some strong tape here. So you want to take your time with it. Now I'm going to start down here because I know where my gap was. Put the end down first and slowly go on top of the tape. You want to make sure it's in place before you start pressing it down because you've seen how hard it was for me to get it up when I didn't press it in place. So. Then just remove the tape. Just do it the same way all the way down. You'll be good to go. All right, we're finished up. I had a little bit left over. Let's go ahead and check it out. Finish type and molding. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. How she turning out. I'm pretty much done now. Just gotta clean it up. Call the owner. Set up a time when he gonna come pick it up. Move on to the next project. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Stay tuned for the next video. Try to get a shot of it out in the sun. Hopefully we get some sun in the next couple of days.